You don't trust me, do you, Merlin? I believe you to be a fine knight. But not one to be trusted. It's all right. I know you have the king's best interest at heart. I only wish you believed that I do too. One day, I shall prove my loyalty to you and to the king. Then I hope we may be friends. Could wish for nothing more. Hello, Merlin fans. A huge bell curve of fandom. And uh, this is a message to say how appreciative I am of the, the, the love and the sass that I get, um, especially around Christmas Eve when, you know, it's become a very good, naughty, cheeky little tradition of mine to celebrate Mordred killing King Arthur. Yes, King Arthur did kill Mordred, but we'll forget about that. That's not important. It's actually the important part is that Mordred ruined Christmas for everyone. <laughs> there was no season six because of Mordred, and I am proud as punch to wear that uh, bit of chink of armour. Brilliant. Um, the Merlin fans have been always so wonderful. I wouldn't have a career if it wasn't for Merlin. It, um, playing Mordred and doing this, um, playing that role, I didn't quite realise at the time how much of an effect it was going to have on my career and set me up for other big roles. And it was my first proper introduction into the fandom, into a fandom, into what would be fans following me around from job to job. And, you know, I still do wonderful conventions where people are still coming up to me this day, talking about Mordred and Merlin and all the wonderful things. And it's truly a remarkable show, a proper old school family, primetime, magical fantasy show. And I'm so touched and honoured that I'm just a small part in that huge, huge show. So, thank you very much. Um, thanks to the fans. Thanks for, um, uh, for being always so supportive of my career and following me to wherever you go. And yes, I did kill the king. I would do it again. Very proud of it. And look forward to continuing this wonderful tradition of Mordridmus. Until then, see ya. <laughs>